Robert, Cleveland, Ohio, the great WHLO country, a Democrat. Go. Yeah, Mr. Levin, uh, I'm a Truman Democrat. I'm 70 years old, and I can't figure out for the life of me what these morons in Washington are doing. Recently, they released a billion dollars to the rebels. Now, there's a real sound group of folks. I don't understand, nor will I ever understand, the insanity in Washington. But I can tell you one damn thing. This Democrat is not voting for Barack Obama. Bottom line. Now, let me ask you, did you vote for him before? Not not to admonish you, I'm just curious. No, sir, I did not. Mm-hmm. Well, do you think there'll be a lot well, of Democrats I... joining you? Well, I sure hope so. I have been very active in our Tea Party movement out here. I've been going to Tea Party movement. All right, let me stop you right there. So, ladies and gentlemen, here's a Democrat, a Truman Democrat, who's a Tea Party activist. What do you think about the Democrats constantly slamming the Tea Party movement, sir? Well, I, really, to be perfectly honest with you, I hope they continue doing it, because the more they do, the more people show up at our meetings. Thank you very much. Is that right? You bet. You know, you can't keep calling people stupid who are middle-class income folks who worked hard all their lives. I'm retired now, and I'm watching my savings go in the toilet because of the incompetent group of individuals in the White House and the people that work for this individual. You know, the bottom line is he's a snake oil salesman, and a lot of people bought into it. I, I Fortunately, I feel very proud of the fact that I did not buy into it and did not vote for him, although I had to hold my nose and vote for McCain because he well, was we much all did. better, to be perfectly honest well, with you. He was awful. I agree with you. Yeah, it was terrible. Terrible. I, I, I saw him when he came to Youngstown, and we went down to the airport. Uh, Palin and he were there, and I must tell you that she was head and shoulders uh, uh, above him when she spoke. She made more sense. But the bottom line is this, that this group of, of individuals are not Democrats. They're not Democrats in the sense of Harry Truman. In fact, I'll tell you, if John F. Kennedy were alive, he'd have to be a Republican. I mean, it's now, just what, what you, Listen to me, Robert. What you're saying is crucial. For people to understand, this Democrat Party is the George McGovern Democrat Party. It is a radical party. It's like it's like the the radical labor left parties in Europe. It is not a traditional Democrat Party. Tell them. My in, well, I do all the time. In my humble opinion, he's a Leninist. You know, a, a big brother knows everything. Leave it to me. I'll take all your money. I'll take all the power. I'll take all the land. I'll take everything, and I'll tell you what you can have. And, and what, what shocks me is that people don't see that. The Democrats I know, and if you know anything about the Cleveland, Mahoning County, Cuyahoga County, Trumbull County area out here, it's a staunch Union Democrat area. And for the life of me, I can't, although to be honest with you, more and more people are starting to come over, more and more people are dissatisfied. I see a lot of buyer's remorse. A lot because they're losing remorse. their jobs and their pensions despite what the union bosses are telling them. Absolutely, it's it's a it's it's a it's a scam, and and what's really disheartening for me because I was a union guy for a lot of years, the, the union leadership is selling their membership down the drain, and these people don't see it. They don't see that they're losing their jobs. They don't see that we had a business out here that employed fourteen thousand six hundred people, Packard Electric in Warren, Ohio. They now employ, are you ready for this? They now employ, of course the name has changed, it's Delphi Packard now, or Delphi. They now employ roughly 600 people God out here. Lord. From 14.6 to 600, you tell me, crunch those numbers. But yet mm -hmm. these people are still buying into the snake oil salesmen and these absolute insane people. And, and to be perfectly honest with you, if we don't turn this country around in this election, and you know, when you talk to these people in the Tea Party, these are people that are, that are middle of the road people, that believe and know that you've got to save a dollar to have a dollar tomorrow when you need it. You can't mm -hmm. spend more than you've got coming in. But this, this insane individual in the White House keeps saying, oh, we need another stimulus package. Well, so, so we're in debt to China for what now? $14 trillion? Good God, my kid is going to be paying this debt off and his kids after him. This is insane. The country is going to hell in a handbasket. If we don't, if we don't turn it around now, Mark, we'll never turn it around and this country's lost. You're, you're one of the best callers of the year, Robert. Well, you're uh, one of the best callers and it was important that I let you speak because you're a Truman Democrat. Because because the Tea Party's being trashed all over the place. Don't hang up. I'd like you to send you a signed copy of Liberty and Tyranny. Excellent call. I'll be right back.